to. Fight! Hello? Is this on? Right, yeah, there it is. Okay. Cool. Um, so, hello. Uh, this is the third time I've recorded this tonight because of technical difficulties and annoying things that made this first, well, second attempt that was a good attempt two minutes long instead of 11 minutes, is it? Or 12 minutes? Okay. So, oh, this is going to be annoying. It won't be as full of flair and excitement as it was beforehand. What I have for you today is a sip some Red Bull. I have a domination on firing range. Probably the staple game type for me, domination. And demolition, actually, quite like that. Um, but yes, we have a very, very, very close game, and it is one of two games that we have back to back which are very, very, very close uh, by literally within a couple of points, as you'll see by the end of this game. So it starts off, starts off uh, running around, capping flags as you do casually, with uh, Alex and uh, Enki, who oh, I still don't know the name of, but I know Alex, his abilities. You'll see him wandering around the map now and again. A flag save! Kaboom! That's a pretty good uh, nade. If you fancy using that, I've had a few good uh, little uh, multi kills off that. Well, not multis, but you know, doubles, triples, as you do. Class for today is um, AK 47. Sender mags with a uh, little bit of flashbangs. Semtex. Claymores. Slive hand marathon and let me think it will be ghost. No, it's be hardline. 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 It's definitely hardline. Um, not in that order because I said the matter was spray with the extended mags for the win. Probably needed uh, hardened on there. Still getting used to all the perk names and stuff. But uh, yeah, what have I got to talk about today? Quite a bit actually. Um, as I said, it won't be quite as flared as it was previously. But uh. Hmm, right, start off with December. December, the month of December, has uh, Christmas for most people that live in a place where you have Christmas. I know some people, some religions don't, but hey, you know, I, I'm not religious at all. I don't really understand the point of religion, but I can see why people follow it, sort of, not really. Um, and yeah, we have Christmas every year on the 25th of December, like I think most normal people would or do. Semtex fail. You'll see another one a couple of minutes later on. Um, <clears throat> what do I want for Christmas? What do I want? I don't know actually. I, well, I've made a list. I want a lot of films. I want a lot of well, a couple of games actually. I only really want Assassin's Creed. Um, so that would be quite nice if I get that, which I'm quite looking forward to because I fancy doing a Let's Play on that actually, which is a good topic. I know this is completely off the wall actually. Um, let's play for Assassin's Creed. Anybody think that would be a good idea? I will be doing, probably doing them live, just using Audacity. I'm not sure actually. Yeah, I probably will. I don't really know the ins and outs of what I'm doing, but that's an idea that I've got in my head, and I'm thinking I'll do it, because I haven't actually seen any of the big names do one, and I suppose that might be because I'm split between two channels, one with a lot of subscriptions, and one with just the people that I'm trying to keep in contact with for the channel. Um, don't take that the wrong way, by the way. It's just people that I just want to kind of keep this channel to itself. Um, <coughs> I've got a bloody last nasty cough and it's killing my throat slowly. Um, but yeah, thinking Assassin's Creed Let's Play, that'd be quite cool. I quite like the Assassin's Creed 2. And like Assassin's Creed 1, I was like a big fan, but nobody else seemed to like it, which sucked. And yeah, it was repetitive, but I don't care. Standing on that church in Accra was the awesomest moment in like any single player game ever. Possibly, I don't know actually. That's a lot of good moments. Um, as well, I've got Splinter Cell from my birthday, which is technically tomorrow, but we had a party yesterday, which was very, very interesting. i got Splinter Cell Conviction, I think it is. I haven't even played Splinter Cell before, apart from once on my friend's Xbox, the original Xbox. It was a Pandora Tomorrow or something. Did not understand it at all, but I've had good things about Conviction. I might, uh, might have a go with it, actually. See what it's like. So on that note, let's play possibly your first impressions or something. I'm not going to be very good at it. I'll be pretty beast at Assassin's Creed because I love that game. And that, although you'll be seeing it live, <coughs> Jesus Christ, it will. Sorry, 
Uh, it will, yeah. I'll be, I'll be beasting as you do with my M1G Pro YY roof jump shot ladder with the ballistic shots of my gun. Okay. <sighs> now that's all off my chest, sort of. Yeah. Um, that's what I was thinking. And yes, my birthday is the 11th, so it's the Saturday this weekend. But you'll probably, I don't know when this will come up actually. This might pop up in your sub boxes before or after that date, due to reasons unknown. As I feel the need to sing that line. Um, yeah, you might, you might, you might see it before then. I don't know. But uh, I'm hoping. Uh, I'm really looking for some films. I'm, I found a load of films I wanted, like a really old film. If anyone's seen Matchstick Man, that's a really old film. I think it's got Nicolas Cage in. There's another actor that looks just like him, but I can't remember his name. I'll remember it like after this, and I'll be like, damn. But yeah. Um, yeah, Nicholas Cage, I quite like him actually, but he's in it, and then there's a guy that I've never heard of and a girl I've never heard of again, really, but they're both, it's a really clever film, but it's really, like, weird, and it's sort of an acquired taste, and I'm a fan of it, but, yeah, hmm, hum, 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 hum. so yeah, that's, that's what I'm quite looking forward to, actually, i got, i got quite a few things that I'm, uh, hoping I'll get, especially so, a PVR because right now the game the no not the game the process that I use to get these up is Colin or Mario did the first one Colin did this one they go onto my file share and they record it then they render it out upload it to a site uh, Mario uses Mega Upload Colin uses Dropbox which is, Dropbox is a lot easier actually I found out how to use it now um, and we that's a lot more fluid I then commentate it put the uh, video to one of my to my friend. And then I send the audio to him as well in separate file because it's smaller and faster. He then puts the colour correction, intro, all this random nice stuff, and then uploads it because he has a faster upload speed. And it's beautiful. It's just, it's just beautiful. Um, well, that's usually what I would hope. Uh, yeah. Let's have a look at the game. So, at this point, let's take, let's take a nice little look. I'm calling in my care packages. I like care packages. And here, I fail with my name. I was pretty fast at calling this in, actually. I was like, bang, and it's in. And uh, immediately I find out how far the range of this thing goes. Like, Rolling Thunders, we wa I watch one in slow motion. And I, well, because I'm awesome. You know, we were watching a friend's game, and it was like, we decided to slow it down. And this Rolling Thunder goes the whole map. Like, Stealth Bomb is, like, the beast, but Rolling Thunders look beast. Uh, I should have said zoom in here instead of running, but I'm a fail. As I said, I'm just an average gamer. <laughs> <coughs> oh god. Um, yeah. So we kind of realised we were 50 points down, a good 50 points down, give or take. And we kind of were like, shit, let's actually do some work now. Because uh, all of a sudden we realised we were really trailing to these guys. And that, we had two back to back games, which were very, very close, as you'll see when I upload the next one sometime soon, I would think. But I don't know when. Um, and yeah. This one was like really, really, yeah, it was really good. It was, it was a really good feeling to finally win and see the victory sign because it was so tense at the end. It was like, we're screaming at each other like, fucking take your flag or something. And at the end you'll see, although I get a pretty beast score, I think I got it over 4 Asia. I think, yeah, 12, yeah, 12 into 50, go, yeah, pretty decent. And, uh, but I get a, a good amount of caps and defense, I think, as well, to ensure that I wasn't just kill whoring, so... We were playing, my team was playing really well, especially the three of us, because we were winning the party, and we ran a pretty good streak, actually, that night. So it was, it was a good game, and we kind of exchanged triple caps from here, and my dog is barking, and I go, God damn it, you couldn't be quiet for ten minutes, could you? No, he cannot. He is the loudest dog I've ever, ever come across. Like, not even joking with you. He is unbelievable. But, yeah, we're exchanging flags, because we're nice people. And, uh, yeah, that was kind of how it went. It was getting really tense at this point. And even, we were just like, how are we going to pull this back? It just didn't look like anything. And I was, all the time I was thinking, Wings of Redemption, that video I put up where he just fully clutched it. Well, he didn't personally, but the whole team, they clutched a uh, win out of nowhere, literally. So I was trying to recreate that, and I think we did that pretty well. Go on, lad, do dolphin dive. Um, so, yeah, what am I thinking of the game so far? I'm, well, wait a minute, look. I'm 39 in my first prestige. I'm not going to proceed again. I think I just did it for, for the crack, to be honest. For the slot, um, pick up a nice double spray with the uh, PK21. HK21. My bad. Um, yeah. 
I don't know, I don't really want to go through the challenges of putting pro perks and getting all the guns and everything. It's too much effort, especially because I don't get on the slot next prestige. It's just like, nah, I'm not really in the mood to do it, to be honest. So, I'm going to leave it on this. Get the cheeky gunship out of the old uh, care package, box alert, box of skill, depends what you want to call it. And in a way, I don't really know if this actually made an impact. But yeah, left triggers go rockets, by the way. They don't do much, but they look nice. Um... Yeah, I don't know if this actually helped our team at all, because me flying a gunship is very, very bad. As you can see, I only get like a handful of kills and spray my rockets to make the map look nice. But, um, yeah, I, I really am not very good in them. I, I used combat training on recruit and just flew into bots and pissed around and that was easy, but it doesn't really give you any strellas or sand turrets that fire back at you, so I don't know. But that's how I kind of trained to get half decent with them because I knew when I got like chopper gunners and AC on 30s I didn't really know the times on Modern Warfare 2 well I got to, I got used to them after a while because they were pretty easy to get I mean if I can get them they're easy to get but yeah if you look at the score if you ping your pants right now I wouldn't be surprised it was an incredibly squeaky bum hole moment and if you haven't used that before or heard that before then it's probably because it's not very widely said probably just between me and my friends fail syntax number 2 oh yeah um, so yeah, we were really like, shit, that's literally like 15 seconds, I think it's one point every 5 seconds, depending on the amount of flags you have, uh, obviously going up to 3 points every 5 seconds when you triple cap, and we were like, look, easily, because we've got a triple cap at the moment, if they flip it and grab a couple, then we're, we're done for, so we're chasing the score, um, trying to pull something out of somewhere, not quite sure where, and all of a sudden, they're capping A, and I realise I haven't got any... Uh, grenades and I ha kind of waited on that guy and they've nicked it and we're like shit but look at the score and boom um, yeah closing off thank you to people who have subscribed and who have recorded this for me Colin um, and also to the people on the team who are beasting and I'm going to leave a nice little link for a track uh, a music track that I'm liking at the moment every week I think I'll make it into a feature so goodbye